I think a big bonus here is we are, we are dealing with evolution and ecology, which are interconnected with each other. Evolution just simply doesn't work without environment, without the ec ecological aspects. You have people working on microorganisms, archaeans, bacteria, and you have people like us who are working on the big stuff, like sharks, uh, on morphologies. You have a, a vast field of opportunities to what you can do here. Doing a PhD in ecology and evolution means to dedicate your curiosity, motivation and creativity towards addressing questions which are at the core of life. And the answers can be decisive for the future of mankind on this planet. And to successfully do this we understand that you need the right research environment, that is, supervision and training programs. Whenever one has uh, ideas or questions or issues, there's PIs or even professors are like just two or three doors down. Yeah, and what is very important for me, I also ask the students regularly for feedback. I like to do supervision in collaboration with people with a bit of a different um, background that can add a different perspective uh, on the science that PhD candidates are doing. It's very easy to get into this very narrow um, thinking and focus on your methods, on your questions, in your own field. So I think it's really, really important that it stays clear that that is one aspect and that, that, uh, that students are actually exposed to all the others as well. I think the broadness of the, of the PhD school is really our advantage. And of course you can expect up-to-date methods and infrastructure. We are now in a completely new building with, uh, which has everything we need. From uh, proteomics to large-scale facilities, also aquaria and so on. A mass spectrometry platform where we can exactly address these questions, how these molecular processes are going on to adapt to the environment, and we measure this with a mass spectrometry platform here. Scanning electron microscopy or different microscopic techniques, 3D reconstruction. And besides that, to do a successful PhD in ecology and evolution, you need a dynamic and inspiring research community. Scientists are still people, people with different ideas and different points of view. And sharing these points of view and these ideas is extremely important. Whenever somebody is struggling with something, we try to find a solution together. We create new pro projects together, new aims. We are actually having a very active communicative structure, which is very important to me. And what about international networks? Well, the Vienna Doctoral School of Ecology and Evolution has more than 50 principal investigators and basically all of these principal investigators are embedded in international uh, research activities. A colleague of mine is supposed to go to Ireland for half a year now. The PhD school also offers um, uh, some support for not just visiting conferences, but also for staying in labs, uh, perhaps trying to, to learn new methods. We have uh, collaborations with, for instance, the Tropical Research Station in Costa Rica. Collaborative research has become, in my perspective, very important, because for doing such interdisciplinary work, it's really important to bring in different perspectives and backgrounds. Before we talk about the quality of life in Vienna, what about interdisciplinary cooperations? The new building is very good. We also have now this kind of more interdisciplinary uh, combination of, of different departments or working groups. An interesting thing to have this connection between different disciplines from the pure biology with this genomic analysis and here with these paleontological things. So one of our collaborations also recently related to a company who is producing fertilizer. And they have actually made the fertilizer for us that we could then test on soil plots how our archaea work in agriculture. And we did this in a practical class with the students. Ecology is a very interdisciplinary science where uh, different aspects from other fields, also from physics and chemistry, are embedded. And what about life in Vienna? Uh, the quality of living here in Vienna is very high since there are many opportunities, uh, especially for students in cultural institutions. First of all, because Vienna is an amazing city to study and to live in. I came here as an undergraduate and I came from a rather rural area. And so it was the first time that I was living in a big city. Everything was new, everything was big. And it took me less than two weeks to really feel home here. All we can do to make you feel home with us is offer you quality of science. 
and every day we aim to make sure that this applies to all our research areas.